Oh guys, good morning, good morning. It's me again, Ryan, and I'm back with a really quick day trading recap. So done in like five minutes, and that's about it. I stopped trading. So today we didn't have a lot of movers, like zero at all. So yeah, I was looking around, and Roku was the only one who's moving. So if you want to see, let's look at our watch list uh yeah i'm gonna show you there's literally zero watch list so yeah zero watch list so yeah that's that's about it let's um let's watch my trade yeah so let me just put this in real time mode so i was looking at it um, looking inside my levels and looking at VWAP, VWAP is at 66 and it moved about a dollar. So I tried to get in twice and I didn't get filled. I need to probably change my hotkeys and I kind of changed, chased it there. So that was a really, really bad move. So, but the thing is, I since it moved too much, I only added half of my position so and then because it's too far from view apps because i was thinking maybe i'll just re-enter here again at this area pre-market high uh not pre-market high around this level and then at VWAP. so that was intentional and uh yeah i actually can take profit here that's like a i don't know 30 cent move but i don't want that because it's not enough but i'm seeing this order at 168 so i wait i want to wait for it so looking at let vwap vwap is 166.90 so let's say 167 right so i'm gonna watch 167 area around this price 167 so my price right now is 167.45 so yeah so i'm back at my break even i'll probably get out at 167 50 cent risk and maybe add more if it holds so because i really want to get this price 168 right so 167 is my key level uh yeah let's let's wait so when it dumped this is where i closely watch it i see orders i said if it's gonna if it moves down at 70 i'm gonna get out 70 or 60 area i'm gonna get out but it seems like it held 97 is the vwap I was closely watching it and I re-entered because it did not drop because normally if it's weak it's gonna drop so I re-entered then there you go and then it moved on my favor so I'm really I'm really looking for this 168 um yeah my my risk now when I added like if I get stopped here and I'm just going to stop trading and accept the loss because uh market is not doing anything at the moment. 168. We'll see 168. This one. There you go. Come on, pop there. So I think I probably took profit. So when I'm talking profit now, I'm, I'm uh, practicing 10%. So I take less profit. And then when there's a major level like 50, then maybe I, I can take half or... It depends if it holds or if I see big orders. I'm, it depends. It depends on the level too. So here I'm now on 50 area. So I'll probably take another 10%. So those are just 10%, 10%. So, and then in the long run, you'll probably get, uh, get more profit. So it's holding 50. So I was thinking maybe I'll take half because it's holding 50 area. Um, I think that's what I did. 72. I'm seeing red everyone's selling yep so i took majority of my position here let's see what's holding yeah so that's how i decided to trade my day i had about like uh it's yeah so i'm gonna show you my average cost it's like 167 so that's that's my average cost right that's where i want to get uh that's that's the price that i wanted it's 167 area so yeah, so <clears throat> 167 the risk i can make i can max at the risk i can uh, afford was 
a dollar move. So yeah, that's about it. So I said, let's see what happens here. I have few last few shares left, but yeah. And I think I'm gonna get out somewhere here because uh, I didn't want to give back. Let's fast forward this a bit and see what happens. But yeah, I mean, I'm seeing a lot of orders here, so it looks like a magnet. It's. I was thinking it's either I get out at break even or I don't know, maybe. Either I get out at break even or get out of view app. Yeah, that's what I did. So I got out here instead of waiting at the break even. So yeah, that was a really good trade. Uh, and see what happens here. I think I did re-enter. But I did not get filled. And I was like, ah, oh, what? And I thought it's going to go up. I was going to chase it. I almost going to chase it. But... I was uh, looking. It did not make a new one minute high at all at 50. Uh, yeah, it did. But no big orders. Oh, there's one here. Let's see. Yeah, it's NASDAQ 101. But not strong enough. I think if you want to really enter and get this number 168.50, probably risk a dollar as well. Yeah, you might need to risk a dollar. So if this fails, then it's a good short. Like exactly at this price. So I was one sec. Yeah, so if if this if this fails, this is probably going to drop here the next year. View up is here, right? So 167.70, view up is 61. So I was closely watching at VWAP. I should have um Let's see if I sh I think I entered. Cause I see weakness somewhere yeah, here. There, you see those big orders. That's why I re. That's why I entered. So you have to be really, really quick. So uh, normally I don't look at the candles anymore. I only look at the VWAP and level two. So let's go back. Yep. See those big orders? This is where I shorted it. Boom. I didn't get filled. You know why I didn't get filled? Because my shortcut right now, if it's a dollar risk, my uh my plus is only five cents. I should if it's a dollar risk, I should put like a twenty cents, like a you know, like when I'm hitting the ask or bid, there's like a plus. Uh, I don't know. Like if if you if you have shortcuts, you'll know. Uh, right now, I have this. If I'm shorting from here, is five cents from here. I don't want to put here. I don't want to put five cents from here because it's gonna. Uh, the I will lose from the spread. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, I'll probably explain it later. If, if you get the point, that's it's fine. So if I'm shorting. I'm going to add price here plus five. If I'm long, I'm going to add the price here plus like here. So it's like a marketable limit, but not really because marketable limit is uh, if you're long, you put plus five here. Or if you're short, you put plus five here. That's not the case for me. For my new shortcut, it's somewhere here. And then if you're long, it's here at plus five. So that, that works for me. It's at least I don't lose from the spread. And yeah, I think for a dollar risk, I maybe add plus 10 or plus 20 uh, at here. Or if I'm short, I'm going to add it from here. So I think that's a very confusing uh, explanation. So I was shorting at what, 61 level. Oh, yeah, man. I just missed that. 30 cent move. 50 cent move. Yeah. Then it's gonna break 16690, 166. Yep. Boom. I could have been a really good profit too. And see, it was like, oh, 
and there's more order here at 166 yeah it's gonna reach 166 for sure yeah 166 Yeah, that's that's about it. But yeah, uh, that's about it. So if you haven't, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I think I won't be trading tomorrow because it's Thursday and it's Thanksgiving. I think it's a holiday in the U.S. tomorrow or half day. And in the U.S. it's a holiday on Friday. So I'm going to check it out if I can trade tomorrow. And uh, let's see. I think most likely I won't be trading tomorrow. So if not, then I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any friends who has the same interest, please, please share this channel to me, uh, to them. And yeah, uh, good day, everyone. Cheers.